Yeah. Welcome back to the Vine. Well, the nominations for the 93rd Annual Academy Awards have been announced, and our celebrity expert Hannah Williams joins me now to tell us about some of the top picks. Hey there, Hannah. Hey, Ashley. Yeah, so the longest award season ever is finally beginning its last stretch. After a long-induced wait, the Oscar nominations are finally here, and there is history-making yet again for this year's Oscars. History was made in the Best Director category. Only five women have ever been nominated in this category before. Chloe Zeho is the first woman of Asian descent to get a nod and the most nominated woman in a single year in Oscar history. She also got nominations for her films Adapted Screenplay, Editing, as a producer in the Best Picture category. Uh, Emerald Fennell, Fennell, I'm not really sure how you say her name, <laughs> was also nominated for her director role with Promising Young Women. And then following, you have Viola Davis, who won for her performance in 2016's Fences. She landed her fourth Oscar nomination for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, making her the most nominated black actress ever. Mm -hmm. And Ashley, to me, that is just so well-deserved. Viola Davis has deserved to win so many more Grammys than what she, I mean, Grammys, and my goodness, I'm still <laughs> stuck on yesterday, Oscars than what she has because she's just an incredible actress. She is so good. I mean, she's one of those actresses or actors that when they say, you know, a new movie is coming out starring, and if it says Viola Davis, you're like, oh, I got to see that one, obviously, because it's going to be good with her in it. Exactly, and that's, uh, that's exactly how I felt about the late, great Chadwick Boseman, and you know we can't forget about him, and especially for his performance in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom as well, and thankfully the Academy didn't forget either. Uh, Bozeman, who died from colon cancer in August at age 43, is one of the rarest and most bittersweet Oscar categories, has received a posthumous acting nomination for that role. Though deceased nominees are not all that uncommon at the Oscars, there have been 79 in total before this year. But prior to Bozeman, only seven actors have ever earned Academy Award nominations after their deaths. And mm. every time I think about Chadwick, I just tear up because he was one of the greatest of our time. He was a true hero. Yeah, it's just so sad, 43. I mean, every time I hear that, and reminded that he passed away, it just blows me away. And I think too, because none of us actually knew that he was fighting that battle, fighting the, the you know, the cancer battle um, before he passed away. And so it just makes it even harder to accept, I think. It really does. And he also won a Golden Globe just a couple weeks ago. So I'm really hoping that you know, he can pull out this Oscar win as well, just, you know, for his remembrance and his honor. Mm -hmm. um, but though David Fincher's Mank led nominations for Academy Awards with 10 nods, I have personally never seen that movie. And there's quite a few nominated that I've never seen. But <laughs> this hit is 1930s Hollywood reevaluated through the eyes of scathing wit and alcoholic screenwriter Herman J. Mankiewicz as he races to finish Citizen Kane. This movie was streamed on Netflix, and after a pandemic year that shuttered most movie theaters, the other Best Picture nominees also had a hard, also had hardly any box office to speak of. The Oscars won't just like blockbusters; it's going forward with many movies that have barely played on the big screen at all. Mm, that's so that strange. leaves Hollywood streaming services set to dominate Hollywood's biggest and most sought after awards. And Netflix is expected to lead the pack with uh, 35 nominations and the service is still gunning for its best picture ever. So I don't know, Netflix might have a shot at winning something this year. I mean, that's how I've watched movies all year. I mean, it still breaks my heart that I can't go to the movie theater and watch the latest movies. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of the movie theaters are starting to open up, thank goodness. Uh, you know, I think uh, by the end of March, especially in April, we're gonna see more and more now that people are getting vaccinated and we're seeing less cases every single day, but it has been so strange. I mean, you never would have thought um, movies that were on streaming services like um, Netflix, Netflix or Apple or whatever, um, or Amazon, the, they would be nominated for a major award like the Academy Awards, but that's the world we're living in. That's the pandemic world we're living in, especially. But yeah, a lot of uh, great movies, I'm sure, but I'm like you, most of them I haven't seen until I've heard about them when they're nominated for these awards. Yeah, I know it. I don't know. I mean, it, it's just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. 
Well, I wish we could see them. <laughs> I know, so we're going to have to watch them. I guess it's, uh, you know, it's just sometimes they have to bring them to light for us. But the Academy Awards will take place on April 25th. So we'll be watching for that to see who wins.